So, hey loves, it's your girl, LAL. So, um, I got some stuff from Ulta. Some of the stuff in here is from Amazon. I just wanted to uh, show y'all some haul stuff. Um, I got this brush set right here from Amazon. And y'all, it was super cheap. It was like, I'm trying to think, maybe like $9.99 or something. Because you know, like when you do makeup like I do, and you're doing a makeup video a couple times a week, or you have to put on makeup for your videos, because you do beauty videos, you run out of brushes. Like, I've been going through so many freaking brushes. So I just got, you know, some inexpensive brushes to add on to what I already have. And I try to do this every chance I get. But these are pretty. Like, let me show you one of the big ones. And it's, um, with Saza. But they are so pretty. So, yeah. They're like a, a clear on the bottom. So, I got a little brush set. I'm going to put it back in the little pouch. It came in. It's really super soft. I have so much, um, I have so many brushes that I have to wash. It's not even funny. I ordered this because I saw somebody do a TikTok on this palette. And it's supposed to be um, really close to one of the um, Huda Beauty palettes. But actually it's two. I didn't even realize I got two palettes here. Wow. So I'll open these up in just a minute. Because I have to take the plastic off of them. Okay, I'll open those up in a second for y'all. Um, oh, y'all, I tried to use this because I just did a video for y'all the other day and I was trying not to use anything from the haul, but um, I needed to use this. So when I went to Ulta, I picked up this NYX Professional Makeup Shine Killer Primer Base. This is the bees knees let me tell y'all you heard me this stuff right here like because i have an oily t-zone like my skin is combination um this right here like it worked really good with the um elk cc cream which i gotta get that video up for y'all it worked really good with the elf cc cream um uh, so if it works with the CC cream, which is meant to moisturize and um, it helps keep your face dry in the right places, cop this, I'm telling you. Like, it comes out black when you put it on your hand. Um, so I can show y'all. I really don't want black hands right now, but I'm gonna show y'all what it look like. So, it come out like that, okay? But it does not make your face black, if that makes sense. So if I take this, just it's on my hand. This is what it looked like. See? I just didn't want to waste that. But right now I don't have on um, makeup. This is my bare skin. So, yeah. What else we got, y'all? Oh, we got this NYX. That's the point. Hella fine artistry liner. Um, yeah, NYX Professional Makeup, hella fine, that's the point, artistry, liner. And this is in black, of course. Yeah, black. So it has a very fine point. And y'all know I love me a cute wing liner. I'm always here for that. Ooh, ooh. This, right here, y'all, this is gonna be like one of my new faves. It's still hot out here in Vegas, so... This Camel CC Cream by e.l.f. If you have not tried this, I don't know. Y'all let me know like below in the comments what y'all thoughts are on this if you tried this product. But I love it. I got this in, um, what shade did I get this in? Tan 450N. And when I tell you it's the perfect shade for me, like perfect match, like spot on. And that's hard for me to do, okay? When it comes to like foundations and matching and all that. Sometimes I end up mixing two or three different foundations to achieve the right color. But, because sis right here, you know, we can be a really weird shade sometimes. Um, but this has broad spectrum S 
SPF 30 sunscreen. Um, it's color correct and full coverage and a natural finish, very natural finish. Elf, you ain't never lied. Like, y'all, I love this stuff. It's really awesome. Um, I picked up this, um, y'all, even though I make gloss, um, I still do love NYX Butter Gloss, so I still buy it. Um, but this is Caramel, and it's really, really pretty. Um, this is the only one I've tried, but, um, because I did the video the other day on that e.l.f. Um, CC cream, and so I rocked that on my lip. Um, I got this Essence Lash Princess right here, and I have not tried this yet or ever before. And um, it's just mascara. It's um, volume mascara. Lash Princess Essence. And, um, yeah, it's pretty much just black, you know. But we need some blah, 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 volume because sometimes it don't even look like we got lashes. We got this NYX Liquid Suede um, Cream Lipstick in Club Hopper. It's like a dark, like, brownish shade. Sometimes I like to take... Um, Instead of just like a lip liner, I'll take like an actual um, matte or like a really thick um, liquid lipstick and put it on the outside before I put the lighter color on the inside to fill it in. And it looks like gorgeous. I love that look. I think it looks so sexy. So anyway, that's what I got this for. Just to kind of go on the outside of my lips for the most part. I might rock it just like this like in the winter time. In the fall and in the winter that's a definitely a dark lip a super dark lippy oh y'all i don't know if y'all are like this but when it comes to like lip pencils it's so hard to find brown lip pencils um here in vegas i do see some sometimes at cbs um in my local cbs but lately i haven't been finding much of anything go to target the aisle is wiped out because it's like latinas and you know a lot of African Americans and stuff like that. And so they buy them out fast and they only get a certain amount of products, I guess. I'm guessing. That's why I don't never have my shades. But I prefer, like, um, for my lip liners, I love um, soft browns, medium browns, dark browns, sometimes a uh, burgundy or a maroon, just depending on what I'm doing. You heard me? So, anyway, we got a bunch of NYX because I love their suede matte lip liners. What did we get? We got this one in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. So that's that one. This one is in Brew. So it's like T. See, y'all, I'm just showing y'all. I'm going to show y'all the end. Uh, this one's in Brooklyn Thorn. And I think I've gotten that one before and I like it. That's really dark brown. This one is Girl Bye. This Girl Bye is gorgeous. It has a little bit of a hint of maroon to it. But these are the ones I got. So this is four lip liners by NYX Cosmetics. I picked up another one of their butter glosses in Ginger Snap as well. I really like the uh, neutral tone. Y'all know Fortune Cookie is like my fave. And then I also picked up this um, Morphe. This time I got the continuous setting um, Miss the Mattifying one. And I love it. Like, I didn't know if I was going to like it because I always get the black one. But it gives you a really flawless finish. Y'all, I don't know, like, what it is about, like, when you have this, like, um, like an aerosol-like can. Um, but I have not found a setting spray that I like that just comes out of a regular pumping bottle. It just feels like sometimes the spray comes out too much and it feels like I should be spraying my hair instead of my face. You know what I mean? Like... Like when I'm styling my natural TWA and I'm supposed to be saturating my hair with water or something like that. I don't want my face feeling like that when I'm trying to spray my settings. But I like a mist, you know. And so I like that these kind of mist. Um, but this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, now I know that I actually like both the white can and the black can. This one is the mattifying, but the truth, okay. The bees knees. So that's what we got in terms of makeup. I'm going to try to open that up for y'all in a second. But y'all, so um, here is my little tape right here. And um, we got this tape. This is the um, water activated tape. This is my um, tape with my business logo on it. 
we actually um i saw a girl's tiktok i wish i could remember what her name was but i couldn't find it but she showed that she ordered a thing like this and this exact color pink on amazon and so anyway what you do when you use it all you got to do is pull it and this is the actual sponge you pour the water in there see the water goes right up in here that's where the water goes and when you pull it it's going over the sponge and it's wetting it right here and so now i ain't gotta measure it cut it with the scissors um get the sponge wipe it down to wet it and then stick it on to use it when i'm doing my packaging so when i say a lifesaver like yes lifesaver now this is a box right here let me see if i can pick it up y'all it's kind of heavy <laughs> so this box right here is of course you see the amazon symbols so we got goodies up in here so i'm about to show you all that stuff real quick so y'all y'all know i make body butters lip gloss sugar lip scrubs about to be doing soap um like a body wash um very soon and so um we picked up this little silicone spatula set and i'm gonna show y'all y'all sorry um <laughs> when you live near an air force base that's what happens <laughs> you hear airplanes flying and it's kind of scary because what happened like a few months back um one of the pilots landed and he was, um, he crashed and it wasn't far from a school. And it, uh, the plane actually landed in the backyard of like a nephew and um, his uncle or whatever. Like they lived next door to each other. And it was just sad because the pilot didn't make it. So God bless his family. Um, my, my heart goes out to you. And he was really a good person in the community. So it's so sad. He served in the Air Force for a long time. So I truly thank him for serving and hope that he's resting peacefully where he is. Um, anyhow, y'all. So this is the silicone spatula set. This is like a sifter, I'm guessing. It looks like a sifter which I might end up using that in the kitchen because I don't think I have anything that requires that. Um, the only thing that I really use as powdery is when, um, you know, I'm doing my body butter and I have to add powder. Um, when I add arrowroot, that just helps your body butter not be like super oily and greasy. But I don't really require a sifter for that. All I gotta do is just use a spoon or something, put it in. Um, what else we got, y'all? Okay, so this, yes, it's a cheese grater, but this is actually for grating, um, you know, soap. So um, when I'm making my actual liquid body wash and I have to like actually grate soap before I liquefy it, um, you know, it's different depending on, like, if you're doing melting pours, if you're doing liquid, it all is different. Um, but this is one of the ingredients here. This is pure castile, um, pure castile, um, liquid soap, unscented. And it's by Almona, Albon de Castilla. Almona. So, yeah. And this right chill came with the cheese grater. But, you know, I'm always needing containers. When you have a business and you make products like this, you'll find that you need containers to store your mica powders. You'll need containers to store everything that you have, your flavoring oils, your, you know, shea butter and body butter, your lip gloss bases. Like, I have ingredients everywhere because I make so many products. This is jojoba oil by Clay Lamp. Oh, this is jojoba oil by Cliganic. Yeah, I can't talk right now. Jojoba oil, and that's going in soap. Um, this I also got um, for product scenting. But this is the Tropical um, P&J Trading. 
fragrance oils. Let me see if I can pull them out to show y'all. Oh, I gotta open it first. Okay, so I'm gonna get something so I can show y'all this. And I gotta open the um, eyeshadows and show y'all that. This is um, right here, soap coloring. And so I'll show y'all that as well. I just have to get some scissors. I'm gonna get the scissors that go to my Cricut because they're super little and short. I mean, they're little and sharp. You gotta be super careful with those things because if you stab yourself, y'all, this is Cliganic Lavender Oil. And I use lavender oil like in all my body butters just a little bit. A little bit of lavender oil goes a long way, but it's so good for your skin. And it just calms and relaxes the skin. Like I get eczema living out here in this hot desert. Um, and that's really like flaky dry skin. You know, in certain areas you get like rashes, like little patches of dry skin. And um, as long as I'm consistent with like using like my body butter when I get out the shower and stuff like that, it heals up really nicely. So yeah, y'all, but stay tuned because we got hand sanitizer and stuff now too, but we're about to launch soap very soon so it's coming let me go get these scissors real quick I tell you oh it's one more thing i didn't show them two okay y'all i also forgot to show y'all of course when you're making soap and body butters and stuff like that you're making any type of like products and skincare, skincare products um you will need a hand blender so i got a nx1 hand blender amazon it's like a little set, so it comes in a bunch of pieces, but it has this with it. This is the one that I probably would be using the most is this here on the end. That's like the attachment that goes on the end. But yeah, so hand blender, multi-purpose hand blender. And I can link this stuff for y'all as well, if y'all would like to know. Um, because I do that, I share, you know, I don't have an issue with um, sharing stuff with y'all. You don't need to hold back. It's like, hold back for what, you know? But um, here, this is, this is the soap colorant. So I just wanted y'all to see what that looks like really quick. They kind of remind me of like how food coloring looks. But... They look like that. What color is this? Chartreuse? I don't know. Lemon. So it's like a yellow, even though it looks kind of orange, but I'm sure like the way the colors do. How many colors come in here? 12. So it comes with 12 colors. Yeah, they have sorbitol, water, glycerin, Garbox, garboxium methyl cellulose sodium, something from a plant and potassium sorbate. I can look at some ingredients and even though I can damn near not pronounce them, I know like certain words and they mean certain things. But when you start becoming almost like a scientist, it really makes me uh, wish that I had, you know, gotten a little bit more into chemistry because I didn't realize that I actually um, enjoy you know making products I never imagined myself in a million years like I knew I like to apply makeup I knew I like to apply wigs I took cosmetology cause I took cosmetology y'all can't talk I took cosmetology back in high school um, because I went to a vocational school so I had to do regular high school courses plus I did my vocation which was cosmetology one and two I never thought like then I used to say I wasn't going to even wear makeup, but I never thought I would become a makeup artist. I thought my thing was going to be like doing hair, like actually being like a beautician. Um, I ended up becoming a makeup artist. And so I did makeup. I've done makeup for a while. I still do some clients, you know, here and there. But like with in influencing and being a content creator, um, mostly full time and running a business, it's a lot. So I don't, you know, get too into that. Um, that and then you know every so often I might dive into like something part time with counseling but y'all know I'm like a jack of many trades here um, I just want to go ahead and show y'all these palettes real quick 
um, and the boys are over there. Um, they're up now. I got to do orientation with my oldest online because the way um, things are doing with COVID right now. Um, I already did orientation with my youngest one. And so um, now I got to do orientation with him. So you probably hear Jeremiah talking in the background. But uh, I told them I was almost finished with this because I normally make them be quiet. But this is a changeable 4C. Oh, y'all, I don't want to, like, waste this, but, like, those beads look gorgeous. I don't know. That eye kind of creeps me out a little bit because I don't like anything evil. <laughs> I don't know what that symbol means, but hopefully it ain't nothing bad. This eye right here kind of creeped me out a little bit. But it's a cute eye. Got a little makeup on it, but it's a little bit weird. But um, this is the palette. Y'all, I know I'm a mess, but this is what the palette looks like. I cannot wait to play in this. And what else? We got one more palette to show y'all. And I got both of these together. Because they're both made by a company called You Can Be on Amazon. And they make very like affordable um, makeup. Very affordable. So, anywho how. We're just gonna unwrap this one and I'm gonna show you this one. I might show y'all how I do um, labels on my lip glosses. Like, I might show y'all that, I don't know, we'll see. But this is the Aromas palette by You Can Be. It came in this right here, Aromas. Ooh, this does look similar to Huda Beauty's palette. But, oh, y'all cannot wait to play in this. Y'all got so much makeup to play in, so stay tuned. Y'all got a lot of makeup videos about to be on the way. Because I got all that big old, uh, I'm going to go show y'all this one that I got from Pixie Beauty real quick. It's freaking popping. It is popping when I tell you. Um, and then I said, I promised I was going to show y'all these oils real quick. So let me show y'all that. Um, y'all they just tape up everything which I'm glad because it will be leaking you know in the shipping process I'm gonna come back because something else is getting delivered today um, when my my filling machine gets here um, it's basically a filling machine I can use it for my liquid soaps and I can use it for my lip glosses so if you've ever seen a lip gloss filling machine it's a manual one, but it's arriving finally today. You want to make sure that you um, don't get the the this the one that you have to connect to like a um, like an air pump or some type of um, pump. And you do not want to have to do that. But mango, y'all. Let me just show you this. So this is what they look like right here. There's mango. What else we got in here? Ocean Breeze. Ooh, I could picture a soap with mango and Ocean Breeze. There is a Wapui and Sea Berry. There is Pineapple. Coconut. Coconut and Banana. Everybody loves bananas. I I I <laughs> Y'all I remember that song from elementary school from the um talent show <laughs> that we, we did at our school and um probably shouldn't have been dancing to another banana song not even knowing what it was talking about back then, you know. We were just kids. But we're like, banana. Banana. <laughs> it's by a group called uh, Garibaldi. But anyway, y'all. Y'all, my mama ordered this uh, little piece from Amazon. You know, I did a review on this. And she looks so freaking adorable in it. 
So this is one thing that Pixie Beauty has sent me a while back. And I got on a live on Instagram and showed y'all. So if y'all did see that, it's still actually up. But they sent me the um, Twist Swipe and Glow on the Glow Blush. And I got three of those. So, <laughs> boom. And I showed y'all like little swatches on my hand. So I'll be using those in a makeup video. But all. Oh. Freaking look at this, eh? Pixie, I love you so much for this. Like the time, the creativity, the effort that goes into these PR packages. Like absolutely amazing. Like you feel like a kid at a candy store or at a toy store when you get these PR packages. But Y'all, I cannot wait to create, create, create. That's what we're going to be doing. So, um, yeah, I just want to show y'all this stuff finally. So now, as I get, I can start using it. But I'll come back and show you the lip gloss, um, the lip gloss filling machine um, when it comes in because it's being delivered sometime today. So, um, yeah. And Sunday, I have a, an event to attend. It's an influencer function. Um, I'm going to be, um, I'll probably come on and tell you about it, but I'm gonna look at my stories on Instagram and you'll see me posting at that event. Um, I love the fact that I get to meet um, other like boutique and shop owners and stuff like that, as well as other influencers, other content creators and stuff like that. So. Um, being that I'm on both ends of the spectrum with that is so cool because I really get to meet some awesome people when I attend events like that. The only thing right now is COVID. My concern with my compromised immune system, but I'm going to be careful. So it's best probably to still be masked up. <laughs> so we shall see. Um, but y'all, I will come back and um, I'll let y'all shortly. I put this stuff away now. So. Your girl will see y'all shortly. She did arrive today, like I said, she did, and I promised I would show y'all. So that was her fresh out of the box. I got this one on Amazon from a company called like Tinker Town or something like that. Um, I will try to find the link and drop that below in the description box for y'all. Um, but she um, was about, I'm trying to think with, um, with tax and everything she only costs like 148 something so not bad compared to some of the ones on there they're kind of pricey 
Um, but yeah, so this one is the model A03 manual filling machine. And so um, this is the operational manual. But y'all will get to see me, um, you know, cleaning her, making products. We gotta give this girl a name. What should we name this chica? Y'all help me give this girl a name. Y'all probably hear the boys over there. I had to have LJ come over here and help me get this thing out the box. Um, it is good and sturdy and heavy. This is like steel, like it's, it's metal, okay? So it's super heavy. And the bottom is really heavy too. So I will definitely um, be getting some help lug lugging it around. I'm pretty strong for the most part. It's just some, you know, bad MG days or when I've done a lot and I'm overly exhausted. I try not to like, you know, overcomplicate things by making my body like more pissed off than it, what it would be. So, you know, but I'm so happy to have her. This is my new love. We're gonna do some things together. We're gonna have some fun. Me and her, me and this girl right here. Me and you, you and me. <laughs> I'm just playing out but I just wanted to give y'all a look at her and see um, what she looks like fresh um, out of the box. So that was her and hopefully y'all enjoyed the haul. We got some other stuff to do so I don't know if I'll include it in this vlog or not but we'll see. We shall see what y'all getting into this weekend. But um, anyway y'all let me get up off this flow. Let me get up. Ooh, my joints are like seriously popping all over the place today, y'all. And my pants keep falling down. My little hippie short self, my little short feet. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So I am about to. Um, I got some other things to do. I need to edit a video. So I think I'm going to get started editing. And I don't know what else. I got some other stuff to do. But we shall see what else I include in this vlog for y'all. But I'll, I'll catch y'all shortly, okay? Thank you. 
just making my way to the off price show Las Vegas baby on my way and I have arrived is it good? Yes. Okay. Hey guys, this is the Royal Deluxe booth right here. They have like really cute slippers and backpacks, like really cute accessories. So just giving you guys a sneak peek at what's here. Y'all, I'm at the off price show. <laughs> so makeup, um, what's over this way? Hair products? Okay. Okay. Hi guys, I am at LMD Industries. I'm just stopping by here. Um, they have like really cute accessories, makeup. Hey guys, again, I'm here at LMD Industries. I'm with Harriet and I'm about to get some goodies. I'm purchasing some goodies. They're based out of the UK, so make sure you check them out. They have some really, really good stuff, y'all. Accessories, uh, makeup, like lots of cosmetic stuff, nails, you name it, it's here. Be sure to check them out. Hey guys, um, it's me again over here this time at Rude Cosmetics. Make sure you guys check out Rude Cosmetics. Everything is super, super adorable.